Hi there, scientists and engineers. Miss Bobby here. We collected several samples from the Berkeley Marina, and now we're going to be looking at them. I'm going to take some pictures of them so you can see some close ups. And then I'm also going to try to put some interesting things underneath the microscope so you can get a closer look. So let's see what we found. Talk to you. Scientists and engineers, Miss Bobby here. These are the samples that Sunny and I collected yesterday from the Berkeley Marina. They've been left out overnight um, in the backyard because it was a little bit warm in the house. So if you're gonna be doing this kind of collecting yourself, I would uh, make sure that you know where you're gonna store your samples if you can't observe them right I'm gonna be taking some of these organisms out a few at a time and show you what they look like before you have a chance to see them when they come to school. And then you notice that I have um, I, this is a recycled container that had some candy in it, and I'm just going to use these. And I, this is just a, a this is just a an eyedropper that I happen to have. So if I happen to see some things that are swimming around that maybe we want to put under the m higher magnification later, then I'll be able to capture them. In this particular part, we can see a muscle. That's this this dark black thing. It's in the clam family. You can see this tiny little clear thing. That's going to become a tunicate and it's going to end up getting bigger and longer and looking like this. That's a little bit, it's a little amphipod. It doesn't look like it made it through the night, unfortunately. Maybe not quite enough oxygen. And then looking around, see that thing that looks a little bit like a like a praying mantis right there. We're gonna get closer. I've tried to capture a few of those. Those are caprellid, so we should be able to see those at um, underneath different magnification. If we're looking around, this is another tunicate. Again, it comes in on the plankton. All of these stringy things, those are called bissel threads. That's what holds the, the muscles together. They're very, very strong. This is the start of a piece of sponge, it looks like. And we'll get closer and closer when we look at different, underneath the microscope, you probably won't be able to tell, but there's little tiny organisms here that look a little bit like polyps of, of coral. And oh, there goes a, an isopod just running across the screen. So we've definitely got a lot of organisms in here. This one right here might be a little bit of iridia, that little kind of alga right there. So we've got lots of different organisms to look at. So you might remember that when we were sampling, we were talking about how to tell the difference between a sponge right here and a tunicate right here, besides what it looks like. One of the things you can do is just feel it with your finger and again, you can touch all these things. There's nothing, nothing poisonous, nothing's gonna bite you, nothing's gonna stick to you or hurt you at all. So if you touch it and you feel those little spicules sticking out, and then you compare how it feels when you touch the tunicate, which is very soft and a little bit kind of like jello. So you can definitely tell the difference between those two, even if they look like the same, even if they have the same color. There are a lot of things swimming around in there. You can see that that little isopod right there. It's swimming around, but also a lot of the movement of the water is caused because the tunicates are sucking in water and blowing it out. They're filter feeders, and so are the mussels. You can see that the mussels are slightly cracked open and they are breathing and sucking in water and hopefully something to eat. Now you can see inside of the muscle. It's opening up and it's breathing more and it's making the water go very, very fast because they are filter feeders. 
So I want to point out another orangey thing that you're probably going to see in your samples. And it's another kind of tunicate. It's more of a spreading kind instead of a stand-up kind. And again, when you touch these, when you touch them, they're super slick. And so whenever, when you're examining them in your sample, you'll be able to tell that it's not a sponge, but it's a tunicate because it'll be super slick. Kind of like, a little bit like jello. Wow, you can really see how beautiful this tunicate is. You can see right through its body. The, this sample has some really pretty algae in it. There's this really red one right here. I'm gonna find out what that one is. I, I don't remember exactly what that one is. You can see this pretty green one. Remember that's the ulva or sea lettuce. And then this one with the bumps. Again, you always know when it has bumps on it and it's a reddish alga. Alga, it's called gigartena. And again, some more of the pretty frilly one, which I'll try to find out what that is. And here again, here's some more gigartena with the bumps. You'll see a lot of that in your sample. These definitely look like eggs. I'm gonna try to pull some out now. This is the other organism I wanted to point out to you. And again, when I touch it and it feels kind of a little bit rough, then I know it's a sponge. So the sponges come in, they're all different colors, but this particular one happens to be a pretty orange and we see a lot of that. Again, right next to the very, very sticky egg mass that we're gonna try to look at and see what's inside of that when we get it under a little bit more magnification. This shiny one right here, um, that could be Iridia. Um, it's getting kind of mixed up with the Jagartna, so I can't quite tell if it's a separate plant or not. But we know that there's another red alga that's super shiny, and it's called Iridia. So I'll keep looking for it. So this really cool red alga is called Iridia, and you can tell why it's called that. It's like it's reflective. It has almost a it looks like a almost like an oil slick on top of it. Anyway, it's beautiful and it's super smooth, so you'll really enjoy feeling that one. So this is a nice angle on the sponge and right next to it to the left there's a tunicate and you can see that the sponge has uh, openings where the water can go in and the water can go out and oh look there's a little amphipod swimming around right there. So you'll see a lot of these this sort of yellowish sponge and again that's another picture of that tunicate that colonial tunicate the one that kind of just spreads out like a carpet. This was a sample of our egg mass and I don't I'm not seeing any movement in the in the egg so I really can't tell what kind of organism they are. All I can do is say that they have very very strong uh, adhesive that attached it to both to each other and to the algae that we separated the egg mass from. This is a polychaete worm and it's sometimes it moves around. It's not moving right now, but you can see all the legs on it. This is a very common organism that you'll find down in your samples. I'm going to touch this polychaete. It doesn't particularly care to be touched. It's going to wiggle around but again, you can see how many legs it has. This worm-like creature that's in this container does not enjoy being in the light at all. Searching around, trying to figure out how to get out, how to get out of the light, how to hide. From the light that's being shined on it. Hmm. 
This one's a new one to me. I don't know this creature. I'm going to have to find out. You can also see a bunch of little amphipods swimming around in there. May not like, may not enjoy being in there with that big creature. You can see several caprellids, some amphipods swimming around. This is a really cool looking tunicate. And you can see it very slowly wiggling and um, trying to get an, some sort of animals floating in the plankton for it to eat. See if I can get a little bit closer. You can see the you can see the inside of its body. Kind of looks like an anemone. So this is a picture of a little barnacle. And you can see that it has landed on top of a piece of algae. And it's right now, it's trying to get food by sticking its feet out and swiping the water. This is an amazing creature. I felt, hope you can enjoy seeing this because when most of the time the barnacles are out of the water and they're closed up. This is a still picture of the egg mass and I still can't quite figure out what kind of organism they are. So we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe we'll find out. This is a, another still picture. This is of a caprellid. I wasn't sure whether or not you had an opportunity to see what they actually look like. And this is what a female caprellid looks like with an egg mass. Scientists and engineers, I hope you enjoyed learning about the kinds of organisms that you can find attached to the floating docks at the Berkeley Marina. Now you'll be able to recognize them when you see them in your classroom in a few weeks. See you again. Bye for now.